Oh my god, guys, this is so cute. I'm borrowing the bike from the hotel. I like it. They even has the logo from the hotel. Isn't that sick? And they have it on the front, too. I need to learn how to customize everything. All right, well, here I go. I'm going to Brooklyn for the first time since I've been in New York. I'm going to meet my Philly friends who are, oh my god. I don't think I should be vlogging and riding, but I'm going to Brooklyn to meet my Philly friends who happen to be in town. I'm going over the Brooklyn Bridge. This is so weird. The bike lane is in the middle of the street. Well, not really, but behind me it was. I'm already out of breath. <laughs> oh my God. I accidentally went on the side of the bridge where the cars are. I'm supposed to be in here. Shit. Oh my God. I can't believe I just did that. I was following the bike lane sign. Oh my God. Continue on Brooklyn Bridge Promenade for one mile. I can't believe I just did that. That was scary. I was over there where the cars go. This is amazing. I am so glad I did this. It's hard by crying getting up. You know what I love about life? There is a first for everything. That was my first time riding a bike on the Brooklyn Bridge and I loved it. There's so many firsts, so I encourage you guys to do things because it's fun. Guys, look what street it is. Oh shit, Smith making moves. <laughs> Pushing pedals. <laughs> I've never really been this deep into Brooklyn. It's kind of interesting to see it. My cousins actually live somewhere in Brooklyn. I don't know where. I made it to my destination and I ran into a peak right here. Hi, what's your name? David. David, how are you? This is Samantha. Hi, Samantha. What are you guys shooting? Coco Chico socks. Oh, cool. Keep the socks. Nice seeing you. Nice seeing you. Aw, I love you guys. Make sure you say hi to me if you see me. What's really funny about that, I was literally just gonna say in the video that first of all, there's tons of peeps that live in New York City. I always wonder when I'm around, like who who lives where? And am I gonna see you guys? But it was just funny as soon as I got off the bike. I actually was at the wrong place. <laughs> but it's up one block. And I asked these people, do you think my bike will be safe here? Definitely, definitely don't wanna lose the hotel bike. The hotel is so nice to me. Oh my God, I love that hotel, Walker Hotel. Guys, if you're ever in the neighborhood and need a hotel, stay there. And I love their bike because it's, like I was riding the city bike for a while. I didn't know that they had bikes there. Obviously, you know, I'm a German folk, so I hate touching the handles, but this bike felt, it felt clean and the seat was like nice and clean because it's like a brand new bike. I was happy about that. <laughs> but I'm almost there, I hope. My friends are like, where the hell are you? They have to leave New York soon. How slow, how slow you I was fast. Huh? I'm sweaty, hi. I saw your friends coming. Slowest bike rider ever. Grumpiest person ever. I'm back now. Trash day. It stinks. One left onto Willoughby Street. Wait, that was a right. I'm such an idiot. Okay, that wasn't a right. Now I'm just a super idiot. <laughs> Clearly you have bad listening skills at moments. <laughs> and bad direction. Honestly, guys, I hope that I am inspiring some of you who are stuck in your shell and you're afraid to do new things. Because look at me, like I'm having so much fun and I'm chilling by myself right now. Who gives a sh you know, like... <laughs> Really, I've learned a while ago that you can't wait for people to do things. Like if you have your own personal dreams, you need to get up and do stuff yourself to make those dreams happen. I mean, I can't say this is like my exact dream, but like I'm here in New York and that's what I wanted so bad. And just exploring every single little thing. I'm absolutely loving every minute of it. And so many people are so nice. I came here not knowing anybody really. I mean, I had a couple people like friends and stuff like a little bit, not close, but there's a lot of people that are friendly, surprisingly. So if you're ever afraid to do things, just don't be. Oh, and honestly, while I'm at a stoplight, I wanted to tell you guys that you don't even understand how scared I was to move to New York by myself and have no plan. Like I'm, I'm living out of a hotel right now. I sold my house living in a great, beautiful neighborhood in Philly and I'm living in a freaking hotel. Like, you know, sometimes you just have to go on a whim and 
try new things. The only thing I'm hoping is that the bridge doesn't shut down for pedestrians because in Philly it does and it's already after nine. I'm hoping that Brooklyn and New York does not do that because I'm screwed. Damn it, I am totally off path. It's supposed to be up there because that's where the bridge is to get onto it. And I screwed up, I'm next to the bridge. You. Thank you for sticking with me for so long. Seriously, we're riding on a journey right now. This is a big journey. Oh, and earlier when I said say hi to me anytime, if you think I'm on a date, don't say hi to me because <laughs> that would be super awkward. I'm planning to date in New York. I don't care. I will be dating here, but I'm really nervous. Like there's a couple guys already trying to talk to me and I'm like, like I don't even know what to do. I'm like, I keep blowing them off because I don't know what, I literally don't know how to do this. That cop standing there just made me so nervous. I thought he was gonna be like, the bridge is shut and you can't go. Oh my God, guys, look at this view. It's so pretty. Maybe it's a new beginning. Maybe it's the start of where it ends. I know. Oh no, I just lost my earring. It fell out and like fell into one of the cracks on the bridge. That sucks. Oh my God, look how pretty this is. I love it. The city literally and I don't want to miss a shot So give it everything that you got Don't stop The explorer that I am We knew I had to come see this up close and personal <laughs> I love it, it's so pretty I'm over by the Seaport Museum I think this is South Street Seaport There's beautiful boats next to me too They're so big they don't even fit on the camera Like oh I literally every time I do stuff in New York I love every single thing about it from now on, I need you guys to do me a favor. I want you to let me know in the comments if me showing you the views in New York is boring to you. Because for me, I absolutely love this. I love it. Everything about this is just completely gorgeous. Beautiful. Everywhere I go, it's like the views just don't end. So if you get tired of this, let me know and I'll stop. But for me, I love it. I heard there's a rooftop up here. I'm not missing out on this opportunity. Don't stop. This is super cute. Oh my God. In the seaport area, there's a rooftop on Pier 17. If you guys are here, you need to check this out. This is like the perfect date spot. I better go on a date here one day. There's just like tables to sit and lounge and behind there, there's a beautiful big, huge TV. And that place is called The Greens. I can hear my every heartbeat. I can feel the blood rush through my veins. You're not. Bunch of peeps. Hi. The Jen. Yeah. They're, they're in the hotel. Canadian. <laughs> Canadian. Shout out Jen. You're from Canada? Yeah, yeah. You said Canadian. No, you said that. You sound like you're used to. Vancouver, Vancouver. What are you doing? Are you just visiting? Just wanna live here, Jen. Sorry, I'm bored. Bye. What are you doing? We're gonna end the vlog. I love you guys. Peace on the streets. Sun. Live your dreams, guys. You're the only one stopping you.